Hi there, this is Rohit Pharma and today I am going to show you how to rip an audio CD in Linux. Ripping an audio CD means to copy the audio tracks from the CD to your computer. And there are multiple formats in which you can rip your audio CD. And they can be broadly divided into lossy and lossless. MP3, OGG are some of the examples of lossy format. Wave, FLAC, ALAC are some of the examples of lossless format. And as the name suggests, in a lossy format, you lose some of the information when you convert the original WAV file into an MP3. However, the loss is not always discernible by most of us, especially when we are using commodity uh, sound equipments. And one of the advantages of uh, you converting your songs into lossy format is the file size is really, really small as compared to the original wave file format in which the CDs are usually recorded. Um, lossless format, as the name suggests, doesn't lose any information during the file format conversion. So wave is the original file format in which CDs are usually recorded. And you can copy across the wave file from the CD to your hard drive, um, but it will not reduce the size of the file and it will not bring any of the metadata that might be associated with the CD. So if you convert your WAV file into a FLAC file, then during that process, you will preserve the quality of the sound songs, but uh, you can reduce the size of the file, thus saving some space in your hard drive. So um, these are the two reasons why I would want to rip my audio CD, so that to be able to play my songs on multiple devices, and also to reduce the file size. So why not just copy the WAV files from the CD? Um, WAV files though carry the original quality. They are big in size, as I mentioned earlier. A typical five minute song in WAV format takes around 50 MB of disk space. However, with the decreasing price in hard disk space, space is not a limitation anymore. The main limitation is the ability to store metadata. So what I mean by metadata, uh, for example, the name, the title of the song, the name of the artist, um, the genre of the song, the album art and ear. These are some of the information that we call metadata that are associated with each and every song and each and every album. So the WAV file format only has the song or the, or the WAV form. It doesn't have the capacity to store any of the metadata. So that's also one of the reasons why we rip our CD into a format that can support metadata and can store metadata. So in which format should we rip? There are n number of formats in which you can rip your audio CD. I have listed two of the most popular format, MP3 for lossy compression and FLAC for lossless compression. So the advantages with MP3 are um, that the end file is really small, even with the highest allowed bit rate, and it has an excellent support for metadata. Um, the decrease in qu audio quality is not noticeable by most of us. And I, as I said earlier, especially if you are using commodity uh, audio equipment. And if you use Google Play Music to stream your music or to store your music, then you can actually store up to 50,000 MP3 files for free. And, and then you can carry your music uh, around and stream it wherever you want. FLAC is a lossless audio codec. It stands for free lossless audio codec. And the advantages with FLAC are that it generates a smaller file size than the original wave without losing any sound quality. And it also has excellent support for metadata. So whatever metadata you can store on an MP3 file, you can also store on a FLAC file. And um, they, both these formats are pretty popular and supported by most of the media players, both in terms of the software and the hardware. So what are the softwares available for Linux? There are a number of softwares available for Linux. Not all of them have a graphical user interface. Some of them are purely command line. I have listed out four softwares over here. Ascender, RipperX, Soundjuicer, and ABCDE. Um, the first three in the list uh, have a graphical user interface. ABCDE uh, runs on the command line, but all four of them can uh, 
can be used for, for the purpose that we are discussing over here. So let's go and see uh, how we can use one of these softwares. I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you how to use Ascender uh, to rip your audio CD in the Linux environment. I'm using Linux Mint 19.3 that is based on Ubuntu 18.04 and Ascender is available in, in the package manager. So if I go to Synaptics package manager and search for Ascender, then it's available and I have already installed it so I'm not going to install it again. But this is available in the package manager so um, you don't have to compile it or you don't have to do anything fancy to install it i already have an audio disc in my computer's cd drive and that's an old album called supernatural by santana and if i play this audio uh, cd in for example a vlc media player then what i'm going to show you over here that it only lists give you a list of the track with the track number. It doesn't have any information about, about the artist or genre or the album, so on and so on and so forth. Some of the media players can fetch this information for you uh, by looking into the CD database. But again, that information is transient and it, and it doesn't actually go and get stored in the WAV file itself. So I'm going to open Ascender CD Ripper now. Um, this is how it looks like. It's a really tiny program with a very small GUI. And it gives you a list of all the songs uh, in the CD. And it also, now here you can see that the tracks are not numbered, are not just numbered. They also have a title and the time. And th this program actually fetched this information by looking into the CD database so if you click on it you can again ask it to go onto the internet and pull this information so every cd has a unique cd id and and softwares like these can actually match that cd id to the cd database and pull this metadata information now when we will rip this cd or copy the tracks using this software all this information all this metadata will be written onto the files itself um, before we do that let's look into the settings so preferences um, has all the settings that are related to this software the very first tab the general tab act shows you where the files are going to be copied so destination folder i'm going to leave it to the default and then you have two options over here one to create the m3u playlist file and the second one is to eject the cd um, disk once the ripping is finished i'm going to leave them to default File name tab shows you how the name of the folder and the files um, will be named by the software. So for every album, the software is going to first create uh, a folder in your destination directory with the name of the artist first and uh, followed by a dash and the name of the album. Inside this folder, the music files will be copied and they will be named with the track number, the name of the artist, and the title of the song. And if you ask in the general club, general tab to create an M3U playlist file, then the playlist files will be uh, named according to this nomenclature. Now these things you can change uh, the way you want by using these um, flags over here, and, and the software is going to name the files the way you ask it to name. The most important tab over here is encode. So here is the list of all the formats that you can use to encode your disk. So sometimes these two tabs are not open. You can click on them and then, and then see all the possible file formats um, that you can use to uh, copy your CD. So I'm going to copy my CD into MP3 and FLAC. So using this slider, you can ask the software uh, the bit rate that you want to use. So uh, I'm going to ask the software to use the highest possible bit rate to convert the files into MP3 files. And I'm going to ask the software to use the highest possible compression rate 
for the flat files now the compression over here means that the, the original wave file when it is converted into a flag file it will be compressed in the size not in terms of the audio quality as i mentioned before the audio quality will not be affected but the size of the file uh, will get smaller relative to the original wave file the trade-off over here is the higher you go in compression level the longer your computer is going to take to encode this file from wave to flag so if you have n number of cds or a bunch of cds to um, rip you may want to rip them in a lower compression level so the ripping process will be quicker however i only have one cd and even if it's going to take a half an hour or one hour i'm fine with it so i can ask it to compress it at the maximum possible level so that the file that i get in the end is the smallest file that is possible and the same trade-off is with mp3s also if you rip them at 320 kbps the ripping process is going to be slightly longer than uh, you rip it at 128 kbps but i'm going to just convert them into the highest possible quality you may want to uh, rip your cd in in other formats uh, for example wave pack and and you may end up getting this dialog box over here that says wave pack was not found in your path. It simply means that this particular codec, which is a dependency, is not installed when you installed ASender. So even though ASender is part of the standard Synaptic Package Manager, um, it uh, is not always, or it is not necessary that it is installed when you installed ASender. But it is very quick to install. You just copy the name of the file, open your terminal, and then do sudo apt hit install this is installed for you and now if you click on this checkbox it's gonna take it, it will not complain and you can convert your audio cd into wave pack also one of the uh, main advantages of using ascender is that you can actually rip uh, your cd in all these formats simultaneously so if you want to rip them rip your CD into MP3 and flat files, both, you can do that in one go. You don't have to do like one first and the second next. So I'm going to rip my audio CD in both the file formats, MP3 and flat. Um, so I have selected both of them with the highest possible compression level and the bit rate. And I'll click OK and, and all I have to do is just click rip button over here. So this is going to take some time and um, so once the process is finished I'll, I'll come back and show you the end result. So welcome back. Ascender has already ripped 13 out of 13 tracks or at least 19 percent, 98 percent. 13 out of 13 tracks and it is uh, encoding the final track into the mp3 flat file format and it's been 10 minutes since the software is running so for 13 tracks 10 minutes encoding into two file formats it's not that long for me so um so i have a i have a modest size computer it's an old dell optiplex machine running an i7 cpu and 16 gigs of ram so it's not the fastest, it's a fourth generation i7 CPU. So um, I think the main bottleneck over here is the, is the speed at which the CD can be read rather than how fast your processor is actually converting them into the file formats that you have asked. So it's finished and now it's saying 26 files created successfully. So we had three 13 tracks, sorry, 13 tracks converted into two file formats. And that's why it is saying 26 files created successfully. I can close this over here and, and, and open my folder to see where the files are stored. So the destination directory was music and inside music we have Santana and Supernatural. So the name of the artist and the name of the album. And um, I want to arrange them by detail type so that I have all the flag files together and, and all the mp3 files together. So if I select all the flag files and open them into VLC media player 
you can see um, now we have an album art we have the name of the artist genre album and and the date and and this is so this is all the metadata that i was talking about um, now each and every track has this metadata in the file itself along with the along with the song and the same is going to happen if we open the mp3 files i'm going to open the mp3 files in vlc media player and you can see the same so we have an album art over here and the title of the songs and the, the artist genre album so this is the end of the presentation and this is one of the ways uh, through which you can convert your audio cds into mp3 or uh, or flag file format or any other file format um, that your software supports and uh, i have shown how to use asender but there are many other softwares around that you can use for the same purpose thank you very much for watching